Santiago, I have to talk to you now. <laughs> Do you think a page of a calendar can make a difference in one's life? Because if that's the case, then I'm going straight to hell. Because everything here feels the same. Today feels like yesterday and the day before that. And I hate it. I can't stand it. You know what else I can't stand? This factory. Working here is like hitting my head against the wall. I try to make changes, modernize this place, but it's like facing a wall of concrete every time I try to do something. And then, there's Mildred. Ever since she left me, I haven't been the same. Something is missing. Have you ever seen the tail of a lizard when it's been cut off? The tail twists and moves from side to side like a worm that's been removed from the soil. The thing moves on its own, like, like a nerve that still has life. And it's still looking for the rest of the body that's been slashed away. That's how I feel sometimes. I wake up in the morning looking for her in the kitchen, thinking that she's there, and she's not. Then I go looking for her in the garden. She's still not there. And then, when I come here, there's this moron, this stupid lector reading the same story every single day to remind me of Mildred, and I hate it, and I can't stand it, and I can't stand when unprofessional businessmen like you hire morons to make me feel miserable. And the question is why and how can you do this to me? How can you do this to your only blood brother? For Christ's sake, I demand an answer now. Now where do you think you're going? We are going to finish this conversation now. So Ooh. Have I lost everything? Have I lost the only man I can call brother? Because if that's the case, then please forgive me for what I'm about to do. Right, now listen to me. The ladies have ensembles. <laughs> Giovanni Sedino, and that was Anna in the Tropics by Nilo Cruz. Woo!